My name's Lan Dorman. I'm a wastewater treatment operator here for the town. My name's Ryan Onosinski. My title is Wastewater Operator C. I'm Dennis Markham, treatment plant superintendent. The wastewater treatment process and water treatment process are the greatest medical advancement of this century. Obviously, I don't want typhus or um, salmonella or any of those things. And so what we try to do is we try to clean this water and discharge it into the river so that it can be utilized so we're not killing animals or fish and we're maintaining a very healthy environment. If we didn't have wastewater treatment, the rivers basically would be nearly dead. Um, all the waste we create would be nutrients for algae and bacteria in the rivers would basically get overloaded and deplete the oxygen, kill the fish. Public health is another, another big reason to have wastewater treatment plant. So you're eliminating pathogens and anything that could uh, affect uh, public health. Another aspect is the reuse of water. So we're allowing and cleaning the water so that it can be put back in the river and reused downstream. What people put down the drains or what comes here, it comes through all the different sewer pipes, lift stations. Once it gets here for our process, we have preliminary treatment, which is basically screening. Over there, Headworks. It's where we remove a lot of our non-organic material, a lot of the non-flushable wipes, a lot of um, sticks, debris. Rags, sticks, plastic toys. You know, kids like to uh, drop little things in toilets. Found some really cool stuff like cars and money in there before, but it's kind of nasty. <laughs> we catch those, pull them out, they get put in the trash. And then after that, it goes into these giant basins over here, which is where a really big process happens and that's the organic material breaking down. It's a biological process. Uh, we have literally billions of little bugs out there that feed on what we're calling waste. So they get happy, they create more bugs, they clean up the water for us. We're basically managing the bug population and uh, trying to get them to do what we want them to do. Basically all we have to do is keep them happy. That's really the, the operations that we do here is is uh, provide the environment for the microorganisms to do their work. And following that, we settle out the solids that are created in that process to separate the solids from the clean water. The clean water goes through a disinfection process. In our case, we use ultraviolet light to disinfect, and then it's discharged to the Poudre River. This portion of the facility was built in 95. It was an upgrade from the old lagoon system that had been here previously. There are a couple big A basins, a couple big clarifiers, headworks, uh, disinfection system, and the control building behind me here that serves as operations. We're approaching our capacity pretty soon, and we do have to think about possibly upgrading this facility. We're rated at 2.8 million gallons per day, which means, according to our permit, that is the, the capacity of our treatment plant. Any, anything beyond that, we would have to get a new permit, which means we would probably have to expand. Right now, we're treating about 1.8 million gallons a day. So we're approaching the 80% mark, which is the trigger for at least design of, of capacity expansion. What goes down the drain, if it doesn't dissolve and doesn't belong there, really shouldn't be there. Don't pour grease down the drain. Um, it's going to be bad not only for us as the receiving facility, it creates a huge biological load and treatment that doesn't happen efficiently, but also on the homeowner side, it's going to clog up those pipes and it's going to lead to a very costly repair of tearing up concrete, tearing up your yard. Even the quote flushable items sometimes really aren't that flushable and shouldn't be flushed. It's a very involved process where one thing happening over at Headworks can impact the basins or the clarifier. Every day we're doing basic process control testing of nutrients and making sure that we're maintaining a good symbionts for everything to work as it's intended. For the town, if all this was just dumped, say, in a lake or in the river, the river would pretty much keel over and get pretty nasty. 
you'd have all kinds of algae blooms, all kinds of nasty bacteria growing, E. coli, and all kinds of stuff, and you'd have all kinds of diseases without the wastewater treatment.